Okay, so we're gonna try that again. Sorry, uh, I recorded a video not too long ago that uh, will be released probably before this that somehow became upside down. So since then, I've been paranoid that they're all upside down. So, you know. Anyway, so, full group, same day, anime. So, before I, we start, I would like to go over the fact that since I was, you know, growing up, I was once told that because I liked mainstream anime, I wasn't an anime fan. Right now, we're stating this straight out. If you like it mainstream, or you don't, I don't care. It's all anime. And it's all enjoyable. Like what you like. Yep. As yep. long as it's not, you know, hardcore pedophile stuff. You may want to get yourself checked out for that. Just saying. So. <clears throat> <What>? <clears throat> so. Um, there's the typical ones of Bleach. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure everyone in this room can agree that Bleach was pretty good. Yeah, I've I think, seen every episode. I think the only problem I had with Bleach was literally the ending. I stopped <coughs> watching after the Bounto arc. Oh, you need to catch up. Oh yeah, I guess that was... Is that the one that I That's literally like laid on... That's the second arc. Is that the one that I laid on your gr uh, ground? Or which one was the, the one that I laid on your ground for? Probably the Bounto arc. There was... Yeah, it was just like... When he lost his powers, yep. and, you know, he was so used... I, I literally... Because I was watching it uh, dubbed. And I didn't like reading. I literally laid on his ground with my eyes closed, listening to it and going, If anything important happens, tell me. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to say Bonkai. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as he said Bonkai, I like jumped up and went, Yes! <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's, I just... Uh... That arc was so the, dry. Uh, when yeah. I was watching Bleach and Naruto, yeah, it's they weren't on my TV. They, yeah, no, they, they they weren't any of that stuff. It's I was actually going to a specific site that I can't remember for the life of me can't remember the name of it now. But what it is is the episode was aired in Japan, and twenty four hours later they had it on their site su uh, du uh, subbed. Yeah, and that's what I was watching. Mm -hmm. Um, I watched all of Bleach, uh, downloaded, and then I watched most of Naruto downloaded, but then started watching on Crunchyroll. Yeah. Yeah. And it's... thank you, Crunchyroll. Actually, here, hold on. If you are not subscribed to Crunchyroll, uh, pause this right now, go subscribe to Crunchyroll, come back. It's free. Uh, also, you know, I really think that, you know, people should, uh, I'm really bad I haven't done it yet, Funimation. Subscribe to Funimation. Anyway, um, so no, uh, going to Bleach, I think the only part I had was that I didn't like the ending and just how it just went blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And, like, Tammy started crying at the end of it. I'm like, why are you crying? She's like, because those are end series, like, the series ending credits. Like, it's done. I'm like, huh? Because that's the first time I had ever watched a anime. To the end. To, not just the end, but, like, that wasn't on, like, DVD. Yeah. It was literally, I had watched it, you know, completion, but not on DVD. Because I've watched, I, before that, I'd watched like two or three different animes on DVD, but you don't really see the end credits. It just, you know, it ends, you're, oh, that was the show, move on. Yeah. Um, but yes, we, uh, Naruto was pretty good. Um, I know some people... I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the original series of Naruto. Yeah. Excuse me, I don't mind the second series of Naruto. I'm Boruto. No. Oh, you mean, um, okay, Shippuden. Shippuden, okay. Um, I'm still really behind on that. I'm dealing with the pain arc. Yeah, I haven't. Been. And, um, I, I watched, I want to say the first six or seven episodes of Boruto. <clears throat> then I stopped because I want to finish Shippuden first. Yeah. I just haven't gotten around to it because that's an anime that I have to pay attention to. So I know what's going on. Yeah. Shippuden, I just... Couldn't really get into. I think I was just in the wrong mindset because it was roughly around the same time that I also stopped watching Bleach. Mm. So it's I, I can't remember why, realistically, why I stopped watching them. But it's I just haven't gotten around to going back to them. Also, for the record, I don't hate you if you've watched only the English version. I pity you because the words "believe it" do not appear. 
in freaking the the Japanese, and it's so much better. That's a boy. Yeah, it's so much better because every time he screams, <sighs> "Believe it!" Because uh, I've only watched like the, like a uh, compilation thing. Because uh, I've never actually watched the English stuff. Um, but I watched that, and every, when he said believe it, I'm like, no, we're done. That sounds so stupid. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can continue on. No, it's, uh, I think there was a couple of episodes in the Japanese, uh, in the uh, subtitled version where he actually says believe it. But it was more trying to inspire confidence in somebody who. Yeah, was really what it is is time. when they switched it, like in the Japanese, the word he says instead of believe it is data bio. Yeah. Which is not a real word. It no. is just a made up word that he it uses. Is, it's a verbal tick he's got. Yes. His. Uh, mother when they transfer that over to English, tick. you know, they can't say data bio because that's a Japanese word. So they just said believe it. it believe said, it. They shook on yeah. Or something, yes. Yeah, some verbal tick, but yeah. But um, another anime, even though some people actually argue this is not an anime, but um, I argue it is, and so does the creators of it, is Ruby. Okay. Based off style, I classify it as an anime. It's a 3D anime. Yeah. Well, I, I think 3D I do think 3D anime means its own... Classified it as an anime. They do. Because okay. uh, the actual guy that uh, made it was actually trying to make an anime. Okay, cool. And, uh, um, um, God rest his soul, <laughs> he, he died. Monty Ohm. Yeah, he died about uh, the same, th if I'm not wrong, he died the same way Bruce Lee did. Uh, embolism? For, uh, aspirin. For aneurysm. From an aspirin. Hmm. It was awful, like, it's just, it's, yep. but, like, you know, they're keeping on with the same stories that, uh, from what I understand, the, the two guys that were working really close to him are still making the series as close to what he wanted as possible. And his brother actually took over his uh, character because there was a character that actually was voiced by him. So his younger brother actually took over the role and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. It's nice they're keeping the dream alive. Since you brought up Rooster Teeth, Genlock. Yeah, even though Genlock is not really an anime. Uh, Genlock theoretically is more classified as a cartoon. But... I, I just get, I had to give it an honorable mention because nope, I love fine. that. By the way, release more episodes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think the problem with that, uh, I could be wrong, but I think the problem with Genlock right now is I think it's actually being licensed. I think they're actually making more official. I think that's what's actually happening right now. <sighs> I could be wrong, but I found out recently that uh, Rooster Teeth is actually now owned by Warner Brothers. Throw, like, the system. Cool. So because of that, it actually looks like they may actually be making Genlock as a actual official thing. Yes, Sammy? I was going to say, it was actually released on TV for Aaron yes. as well. So It's on, yeah. So uh, it's... I can't remember what channel, but it was actually on, or like, able to be recorded on our PBR as well. Cool. Mm, nice. So, they are trying to get past that hurdle. Uh, I grew up watching Dragon Ball Z. Yes. Yeah. That was my jam. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, the only problem I have with Dragon Ball, in uh, the whole, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT, is the fact that apparently so many people hate GT that no longer is canon. But watching a little bit, I've watched about Super. I'm like, I, I'm fine with GT. Like, GT, GT was... had its... It, it, like, I have not seen most of GT. I've seen bits and pieces of it. And GT had some good stuff, like Super Saiyan 4. That was pretty good. Yeah. Which made a lot of sense and was based off of the same thing that he had gone with. Because we had read what he had actually indicated what yeah. he wanted. And then they basically did that for Super. Uh, super, uh, super. But the problem is, is that with Super, they had him with red hair and then immediately it goes blue. And now it's just blue hair. Yeah. And it just... it, It's like basically the, the original writer of it had basically given them, like, notes and stuff like that, because he didn't really want to be a part of GT. He was kind of done. But he was giving them notes and stuff like that as part of it. And then after he gave them notes, he basically was like, I'm out, and left. And then when he left, basically so many people hated GT, that he was like, oh, no, it never happened. This is what, I, uh, I'm just going to change a bunch of things. <laughs> Let's go fix it. <laughs> but, like, the stuff that he changed doesn't make sense to some degree either. Like, um, Frieza hated... Goku, but, you know, teams up with him at one point and stuff like that. It's just... Still hits him. Doesn't make sense too much. Yeah. 
Makes a little bit more sense if you watch it. Uh, I'll take your word for it. Yes, a couple animes I want to bring up. We mentioned it in an earlier series. Space Battleship Yamamoto. Yeah. And I think I said that wrong, but... But uh, also the Gunbuster series and the Robotech series. You lost me in all three. I don't watch my... That doesn't surprise me. I don't know. At one point I tried to get into Gundam Wing... But it was very difficult because I was a teenager and it was all politics. And I'm just like, and eh, no. I like the art style. I like the mechs. That's cool. You can you can buzz off with the um, politics. You might try Gundam Seed. Mm. I actually thought Gundam Seed was one of the better ones, personally. Yeah, I was watching the one with Duo. In it. I'm trying to remember an anime I watched, but I can't remember its name at all. I don't, even remember, I don't even remember if it's actually an anime or not, or if I'm just making stuff up in my head. So we're just going to move away, because it'll be like half the freaking thing of me trying to explain it to you guys. Um, one of the ones that uh, Tammy really liked recently uh, was Rise of the Shield Hero. Yep. Keep meaning to watch that one, keep forgetting. Uh, I like that particular genre of anime. So, Rising of the Shield Hero, that time I was reincarnated as a slime. Uh, the saga of Tanya the Evil. Love Hina. Technically, it's the same style. Is it? Is harem? No, it, harem. No. But it's not harem. He's thinking of it. It's actually like you know a kid who uh, gets who's... treated like crap, who then becomes yeah. a hero. Uh, no, it, it's more like uh, someone who is killed or oh, resurrected okay. in another world. So okay, usually Konosuba. a fantasy world. Okay. Uh, yeah, Konosuba would be the other one. That... Yes, Konosuba is one. S- I like that one as well. Why? Did you like? Yes, that, one? that is also an... An, another uh, another one that you may not have heard of. Log Horizon. Nope, can't say I've heard of that one. It's similar to Sword Art Online, but vastly different storyline. Yeah, Sword Art Online is a good one. I really liked Gun Gale Online. Though, that that you bring it up, I do actually think I really did like, uh, I haven't watched it in a long time, but Love Hina was... Love Hina was funny. I enjoyed it. I remember watching it. That was a a good good one. I have a couple of the mangas. I think I have a couple of the... uh, the movie specials. Tenchi Mayo is another one. Yeah. Another a good one was uh, Great Teacher. Onizuka. Yeah. That was GTO. a great one. I haven't seen it. Oh, it's it's funny. Yeah, it's it's got some very interesting parts in it. The fact that he, he's um, a younger ish man who becomes a teacher. A uh, younger ish being like I think he's only like mid twenties. Yeah. So he's not like extremely old. Uh, he tries to become a teacher and. Stuff like that because he needs money and just stuff like that. And, like, the kids are being, like, you know, he gets put in charge of, like, the shittiest of the shitty kids kind of idea. And he basically is, like, you know, not putting up their shit too much. But they're not really putting up with his shit too much. And it's this weird little thing. And at one point, they tried blackmailing him because he's a pervert. But he's, like, you know, trying to be, like, behave himself. So, like, one of the cute girls who's, you know, like, 16, she's, like, flirting with him. And, you know, you know he's being polite and stuff like that. But, like, you know, he, you know. Yeah. They, they basically tried blackmailing him for that. And he's, like, you know, like, Whatever, like, go fuck yourselves, kind of idea. And then they basically get caught up with a gang. And it turns out that he's actually a gang member. A former gang member. And so the like, the gang's fear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, the, uh, but like, throughout the entire series, he actually finds each kid. Like, all the kids hate him. By the end of the series, all the kids like him. Because he helps them all with their, like, their personal problems. There's this one girl who trouble at home. And, you know, mom and dad aren't talking for whatever reason. They've actually built a wall. And Onizuka, he's hearing this. You know, it's one of the reasons why this girl is troubled. He goes to the home and knocks down that wall. Yeah. Tells his parent, tells her parents to smarten the fuck up. Or like one of the girls, he starts hanging out with her. She's got very large breasts. And he starts hanging out with her. And they all think that he's a pervert trying to, like, you know, get with her. Turns out that she wants to be an actress. So he's actually trying to get her into like all these like auditions and stuff. And that's why he's hanging out with her. He's trying to get her into auditions. And then he becomes her manager because her manager's using her. So he becomes her manager, like, you know, so that no one can like use her and stuff like that. And then he wants very little in return for like actual money. He just wants her to be happy. He actually Send gets me that her. one. I, I'm gonna have to look that one up. He actually pretty gets sure her into some... Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it is. 
He he gets her into a couple of beauty pageants. I remember that because she has really weird talents. Yeah, and like he's like one of her biggest fans. Oh, it's, it's an interesting show. Um, the other one that I was thinking of was um, the one that we were watching at the restaurant there constantly, the cafe. Oh, uh, Samurai Jack. Or was, that's the other one, but no. Um, ba, 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 ba. But well, she's thinking uh, of that Kenichi this. Yeah, the strongest oh, disciple. Yep. Disciple. Can you yeah, Kenichi. I have not finished that one. I've tried finishing it. It's just every single time I start watching it, something comes up, so I just have to stop, and then I have to remember what episode I'm back. On. I, it's done like three or four times, but I really loved that show. Kenichi is a great anime. In fact, I'm the one who introduced you to it originally. Um, and you guys just weren't interested because the one character reminds you too much of another anime character. Oh, also, I don't like reading back then. Yeah. Uh, one anime that I actually liked, it was way out of my normal scene for what I usually watch, Super Chef. It's it's literally an anime about cooking and going to different cooking battles and things like that. What's that stupid one on Crunchyroll that is like that? Uh, Japanese name is Shokogeki no Soma, or otherwise known as Food Wars. Yeah, Food Wars. If you have Crunchyroll and you want to watch a weird cooking show, Food Wars is another food interesting... Porn. Yeah. Basically, the guy's food is so good that it pretty much makes people orgasm. <laughs> a lot of the characters do that, yeah. Um, it's not just his. A show oh. that was out of my comfort zone when I was growing up, and I own pretty much a majority of it, is Shield 21. Yeah. Japanese kids doing American football. That one was interesting. Um... The beginning of it is um, one of the guys, he's trying to create a football team. And when he's trying to create the football team, no one wants to join the football team. They're all doing track and field or this or that, basketball, whatever. So he forces them all to do it by blackmailing them all. Except for two people. I think there's two people on the entire team that he doesn't blackmail. The The one is because the guy wanted to join and the other one's his friend. The wide end, I think it is, or whatever. That's the yeah. He's the defense blocker. line. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's his friend. Yeah, okay. that's the friend. And the the guy, the main character who becomes Eye Shield. Yeah, he wanted to actually I think. Technically, he doesn't blackmail his other friend, which is nicknamed the sixty yard Magnum. Okay, yeah. but yeah, he's like, their kicker. Yeah, but he, he pretty much it's an interesting show, and like uh, there's a bunch of like stuff where he's teaching them things, but he's teaching them things by forcing them to do stuff. Yeah. He didn't blackmail he, the uh, the brother. Yeah, he... Or uh, which one? Uh, the Haha brothers? No. Because he's not, still blackmailed. Not those, go, <laughs> no, not those guys. The other guy. The uh, the manager's brother or whatever. He's an idiot. Aha! Uh, ha, my sister. I don't know. Uh, no? Okay. It's been a while since I've watched it. But uh, another one that I remembered... Oh, I know which one you're talking about. No, he's dumb. Yes. The other one that I actually remember that I really liked and I watched... Most of it, your house. Yep. Because you downloaded it for me. Initial D. Yeah, I was waiting for you to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. One of the most famous parts of it to me, I actually tried, I wanted to watch it again, and Tammy died. I had to search the internet for it. It's basically um, the main character and his uh, girlfriend. She's uh, walking home, and she's basically kidnapped by her ex-boyfriend. And her ex-boyfriend's driving in the middle of nowhere, and he basically wants her to confess his love to her, or he's going to basically kill her and commit suicide. And he's basically driving off to the middle of nowhere, and he stops at one point, she jumps out of the car, and she's calling him. And he was supposed to go out with a friend, and that's, you know, he's like, no, you know what, I just feel like something, I need to go home. And the guy's like, oh, okay, whatever, and he goes home. And as she's ringing and ringing and ringing to try to get a hold of him, right before she's actually grabbed another guy... She, he actually answers the phone, but it's been ringing for like almost like 30 seconds, kind of idea. I'm like, she was about to, you know, it was about to go hang up. And as, you know, he, she, he answers, she starts floating off everything to him about what's going on. And the guy like pushes her down, grabs her and, you know, yells at her some. And like, he, you know, gets in the car and he's yelling at her about the fact that no one's going to come and rescue her. No one can come out here because it's snowing and it's awful weather and they're so far away and blah, blah, blah. And like, it would take you at least 30 minutes normally to come out here. It's going to take someone like, yeah, 45 to an hour to come out here. 15 minutes later, he's sliding right past him. Yep. Drifting into it, like, you know, drifting to yep. save her. And the guy's like, what the hell? 
I actually have like the, those stupid little electric car things. I've actually got that car, sh the shell for one of those things. I've got it at home. I love that anime. It's w and Chris here knows my despisal of racing things. I don't like them, but no, I actually love that anime. But yeah, I, I like that. And then like the fact that he's smart enough that when he was starting to turn around and chase them, that he was smart enough to not touch the guy until like the exact moment to actually prevent him from falling off the cliff, but instead to actually make him spin out and stuff like that because he knew how the car would work. Oh, it's interesting anime. Um, and yes, I get giddy about that one because it's one of my favorites. I don't blame you. Uh, one anime that I liked, it's also outside my norm, is uh, Angelic Lair. I think it's rather interesting because what it is, these are oh, well, effectively dolls. They're the same size as standard Barbie and everything else, yes, but they're, you put them on a battle table and you have you can actually control them and it's fights between them and i i just like that that anime it was it, it hit tickled my funny bone um i liked um black butler that was definitely an entertaining one cuz uh, i'm one hell of a butler i have not watched much of black butler but i know emma has and she l really likes uh grell yes of course you would. I've never heard of that one, so... It's entertaining because young boy, orphaned, ends up making a soul pact with a demon who becomes his butler. And he has really weird um, housekeepers. <laughs> it's very entertaining if you want a, like something to kind of like on the occulty funny side. It's definitely amusing. <clears throat> um, another one that was kind of a weird one growing up, I own... Seven of the eight DVDs, I'm missing volume seven, which was called Gatekeepers. And it's pretty much a bunch of kids that have different abilities and they have to protect the world because they have to, they are the gatekeepers. But it was definitely interesting. Like one of them creates force fields. One of them is super powered. One of them, you know, does this and that type thing. But it was interesting. An anime that I watched uh, last year that I thought was really good. It's um, called S something along the lines of Spec Ops, uh, Magical Spec Ops Oscar or something like that. And basically what it is, is you, you take like the magical girl genre, like Sailor Moon, whatever, and you make it a lot more violent. And it's actually a really interesting one. I actually sent you a, a link or two of it, and you said you were going to check it out, and then you probably forgot. Yeah, most likely. Um, one anime, if nobody else wants to kick you in. Um, actually a couple of animes, now that I think about it. Rise of the Fallen, just simply because it popped into my head. It's another mech anime, so you probably haven't watched it. I, I thought it was interesting. You can very much tell what Jeremy likes to watch. Yeah. Mech got, animes. Big ass <laughs> mechs. But it hates racing. <laughs> yeah. Um... And now I completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> Damn it. Congratulations. <laughs> the, the two genres that I find that I really like the most are uh, Isekai, which, as I mentioned before, it's like Konosuba and all that, all the other ones there, and um, sports. I find that those two I usually like the most. So then have you watched uh, Free or whatever it's called? or Spot? Free. Yeah. Whatever it's actually called. What's the actual original? It's called Free. Because it's meant yeah. to be no. the freestyle. Okay. I've watched the whole thing of it. Hilarious. Of course. Free? It's about free. swimming. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to check it the, out. The freestyle of swimming. Because it's about competitive swimming in the male. Like it's a bunch of, a team of males doing so it. So I watched yeah. um, an anime called Kuroko's Basketball. And that was actually really good. Really enjoyed it. And see, my other problem is that as we're going over these, I cannot figure out if the animes I'm thinking in my head are different anime or the same anime, that I've, or like, you know, like, um, some animes over the years have just kind of Blended mixed in. together. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Mm. So I'm thinking the animes that I keep thinking in my head are actually uh, GTO. Okay. A lot of just random episodes of GTO. But, like, as I'm thinking, I'm like, is that or is that not? Like, it's one of those really bad problems right now. 
But one of the animes I keep meaning to watch, and I'm pretty sure I own majority of it. I don't know. I think I'm missing one volume of the DVD. Is Ergo Proxy? Yes. It's kind of like a sci-fi horror one, and I get like four episodes in, and I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta step away. I gotta do this, and I gotta do that. I gotta make sure it's done. And then I come back, and then I'm like, I gotta watch it over again. <laughs> <laughs> I have forgot it all. <sighs> but yeah, it's. That one looks really interesting. I like the art style. That's one of the things that grabs me. I could care less about what it's about. I will watch it for the art style, and then yeah. something will trigger into making it funny or really like heart touching. Like the Rise of the Shield Hero yep. spoke to me on more yeah. than yep. an emotional level. It was it touched that weird part of my soul. See, the interesting touch. part about uh, Rise of the Shield Hero, uh, just as a general thing, is Rough Talia. Yeah. Um, the best girl. When she was actually, like, when, after the show was done, a lot of people were, like, talking about the fact that, theoretically, she's just a child. So, like, anything that's sexual she does, she, she's theoretically just a child. But if you actually really want to think about it, she's actually older than him, I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure. And the fact is that her species doesn't level up. They don't actually age. Yeah. They and, age as they level up. Since she has leveled up, since being with Naofumi, she's actually older now. Yeah, but I think she's actually, like, she's been, like, in that cell. Unless I misunderstood. But it sounded like in one of the episodes that she's been that cell for, like, a ten while, yeah. years. Kind of idea. Yeah. yeah, the only thing that would change was would be technically her body chemistry. Like, actually being mature and creating the other chemicals. I mean, to form the fact that she's eating properly and whatever else is yeah. Yeah. helpful. But she's actually, like, in a healthy relationship with Nelfamy. Yeah. And but yeah, kind of um, I'm wondering how that's going to go, because that one's going to be a weird one, because uh, of what you're left with now. Yeah. Without spoiling it. Just... Yeah. Season 2 is coming. Yep. Just Since, like, uh, 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 sorry, go ahead, Jay. I, I just remembered these, and I wrote them down simply so I wouldn't get derailed and forget about them again. Melancholy of Susahara Mia. Weird-ass anime. Oh, yeah, but funny as shit. Uh, another one, Trigun. Trigun was hilarious. <laughs> I have not seen all of it, but love and peace. Love and yeah. peace. Uh, Slayers. Also hilarious. I think we own that. Yes. Uh, and and, again, and one that most of it. we kind of touched on, but has to be given an honorable mention, mainly because it's what really got me into it, Sailor Moon. Yep. First on my TV. Yep. And one that just really <laughs> popped into my head right now, Akira. Weird yes. occult anime, but damn, is that I not think glorious? They are remaking they Akira. They I might be doing wait. live action. I cannot wait. I forgot I the one I was going great. to bring up, but Tammy, did you like Helsing? Helsing was also very good. Helsing or Helsing Ultimate, or both? Anything with Alucard. Fair. Yeah, with his attitude and everything. Alucard was great. There was another one I was going to bring up, and I forgot now. Um, yeah, so that's going to be. Well, we could go on forever about that different animes we like. I know, but there was one that I actually thought about that, but finally was like, oh, I yeah, know, that's definitely one I have to bring up. Oh, Elven Light. Elven Light? Yeah. Yes. That was a horror. Like, it's the first time I think I ever watched a horror anime. I, damn, what it, it, was it good? Yeah. Right. I haven't seen all of it. There's a lot of animes I've not, like, I've started to watch and either just couldn't get into or just, you know, yeah. walked away for whatever reason and I've never gone back. Or that you you got caught up to a specific point in the series and just like, oh, no, I'll I'll wait a little bit before downloading the next batch. Or, in my case, what I like to do, and it screws me over a lot, is I'll read, like, I'll go onto, like, Wikipedia and read about what's going to happen, about specific Mm -hmm. characters, like, what's going on with this character. And then read everything, and it's like, well, no, I don't want to watch it. I almost, I did that a bunch of times with Naruto. And I had to, like, kept stopping, but yeah. Anyway, so we're at uh, 29. So unless there's anything else you guys want to bring up? Only thing I'll say is, these are just our opinions. If you have any comments, suggestions, or anything else like this for animes we He's may He's taking enjoy. my fucking job. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> Please let us know. <laughs> so, ignore what he said. But listen to me. <laughs> so, if you uh, like any of these, um, watch them. By all means, that, that's kind of why we're suggesting them. If you have suggestions of your own, um, I cannot guarantee I would watch them because I am very picky about my anime. 
uh, as Chris knows, uh, he's been saying that scene crap to me for uh, years, and I still haven't watched a lot of it. I just, my problem with uh, anime is because it's actually dubbed. I have to actually sit there. Uh, sub, do you mean? Sub, sorry. Yeah. If it's not dubbed, that's what I would say. Um, I actually have to watch the words, and then I can't do anything else. If it actually is, you know, English dub, I can kind of just, like, run with it, you know, in the background, and it's actually kind of easy. So, <clears throat> there's that. But anyway, um, so yeah, still comments below, you know, maybe one of them will watch it. I'll probably check out whatever suggestion you might have. And, uh... Yeah, maybe there's something that you'll list off that we actually have watched and have just forgotten because there's so, so much many. out there. I actually used to make a list at one point of all the animes I've actually watched completely, and that's just gone in the wind. That would be a small list for me because I, I, there's not a lot of animes that I've fully watched. I've but, forgotten more animes than I've watched. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, um, Tammy, do you know how to, you've said it before to be continued? Do you I remember? Know, I know the symbols. You know the symbols? Continued. Ah, darn. Well, anyway. Bye. To be continued. <laughs>